Here's how you can make your videos accessible and easy to follow while muted by adding in automatic subtitles with Clipchamp. Start by heading over to clipchamp.com and then log in or create your free account. I've put the link in the description below. Once logged in, you'll be taken to the homepage where you'll click on the create a new video button. Then you'll be taken straight into the editor to get creating. The first thing you'll need to do is import the video you want to add subtitles to. Do this by heading over to the import media button, selecting the asset and hitting open. It'll load into your media library over here. Now add it into the timeline by dragging and dropping it in just like this. For this tutorial, I'll be showcasing a get ready with me vlog. So now that the video is in the timeline, to use the auto captions feature, just click on the video in your timeline. It will highlight in green so that you know it's selected. Then navigate over to the property panel and click into the captions tab. Now you'll click on the turn on auto captions button here. A caption language detection pop-up window will then appear and by clicking on this drop down arrow, you can select the language used throughout your video. For this one, I'm keeping it set to English. You can also check this box here to filter out any profanity or offensive language. Then just click on the transcribe media button and your subtitles will begin to auto generate. You'll automatically return into the editor and you'll see your subtitle text being generated over here in the captions tab. The generation time will depend on your internet connection, speed and length of your video. Then once your captions have loaded, a transcript will appear here in the transcript section of the captions tab. Your subtitles will also appear on your video. Now just play your video back and ensure all of the subtitles are correct. And if there are any misspellings or grammatical errors, you can click on that word in the transcript section here and then just type out the correct version until it all looks right. Next, you can also edit the appearance of the subtitles if you'd like. Just click on the captions box in your video preview and it will highlight in green so that you know it's selected. Then navigate over to the property panel and click into the text tab. Here you can edit the font, size, alignment, colors and position. Firstly, to edit the font, click on the font drop down menu and have a scroll through all of the available options. Just click on the font option that you want to action the change. You can do this as many times as you'd like until you're happy with the look of your text. Then to change the size, just drag the size slider either left or right like this. Now to change the alignment and positioning of the text, you can either click on one of the alignment boxes here or one of the position boxes here. You can also simply use the freehand tool to move the text anywhere on the video preview. But for this example, I'm going to keep it at the bottom middle here. Lastly, to edit the colors, click on the primary colors tab to change the text color. You can either enter in a color code, choose from a default option, or use the HSV color picker for something more specific. Then to edit the background color, jump into the background color tab and do the same until you're happy with the look of your subtitles. Lastly, you can download your SRT file if you'd like to. The SRT file gives you the option to auto add subtitles to a video after it's produced. So to do this, navigate back over to the captions tab in the property panel and click on the download captions button. Your captions transcript will then download straight to your device. Once you're completely happy with your video, you can go ahead and export it by heading up to the export button, selecting your video quality. And once the export is complete, hit save to your computer and it will download to your device all ready for you to share. And that's how you can add automatic subtitles to your video with Clipchamp. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos.